I'm Sarah Wickin from UrbanChef.se and today I'm going to be making an almond milk. Traditionally, you use filtered water, but I'm going to be using shaga. Today I'm going to be making this almond milk. And switching over to almond milk can be a bit pricey. So this is a great way of making it at home yourself. Normally when you make almond milk, you soak your almonds for overnight for about eight hours and um, then you mix them with filtered water but I'm going to be using shaga. Shaga is a mushroom that lives on birch trees and um, this is the kind of powder I'm going to be using. You infuse water with it just like with tea and um, I'm going to be using a, a high speed blender today. And I'm going to flavor this with a tiny bit of coconut sugar because I'm going to drink mine. I'm not going to use, use it for cooking or anything else. And here I've got a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of sea salt. So let's blend. So now we mix this, mix the almonds with the shaga water and um, I'm just gonna strain it now. So a bowl, a sieve and a cloth. and clean hands and just squeeze all of that milk out of it. It is easier and way more fun than milking a cow, I promise you that. So now after straining you get this gold and this is um, the pulp and when it's uh, squeezed out like this, it's still got some oiliness in it and you can use that for a scrub, for your hands, for your face or just dry it off in the oven and you will have an awesome almond flour to use in your gluten-free baking. So this is the milk we made. So there we are. Oh. Don't cry of spilled milk. That's what we say in Sweden. En på näsan istället, det går